the BBC has been given a first look inside the newly completed Chiltern Tunnel, the longest of what remains of the HS2 route between London and Birmingham. We can take you inside it this morning. And this comes as the boss of the project says they're looking to make sure it's delivered as efficiently as possible and for the lowest reasonable cost. So far, just over £40 billion has been spent on HS2 and the government has committed more than £25 billion more to the project by 2030. That includes over £7 billion allocated to be spent this year. Let's have a look inside. Our transport correspondent, Katie Austin, has more. Beneath the Chilterns National Landscape, HS2's longest tunnel has been taking shape. Twin tunnels running in parallel over 10 miles. 70 metres under the ground, we got a first look at the completed structure. So what, what you see now is, is something that's taken 32 months to deliver. So our tunnelling machines have removed just in excess of 3 million metres cubed of chalk material. The machines have installed 112,000 concrete segments weighing between 8 and 8.5 and tonnes each. Trains will eventually pass through here at speeds of up to 200 miles per hour, carrying passengers between London and Birmingham. But exactly when they'll start running is still not clear. The HS2 project as a whole has come under fire for delays and ballooning costs. The railway's legs to Leeds and Manchester were scrapped by previous governments, with the London to Birmingham part of the scheme on track to miss its target opening date of 2033, a complete review was started last year. New cost and schedule estimates are expected soon. The Chiltern Tunnel is an impressive feat of construction and engineering, but many people who live nearby are unhappy about the disruption it's caused, including to the landscape. Elsa owns a pub just around the corner in West Hyde, where she grew up. We don't have access to uh, you know, a train station that's going to be part of this train line, you know, when it's not going to be benefiting the local community. Um, they've just sort of built a monstrosity through our countryside and people are rightfully quite annoyed about it. Back inside the Chiltern Tunnel, a lot more work will be needed before tracks can be laid and all the other systems installed that will make the new railway work. We're now waiting to hear what HS2's new timetable and price tag might be. Katie Austin, BBC News. One day we'll see trains inside yes. there as well. Eventually.